this shaft, it, it, it's full of those monsters. There must be thousands of them stored in the walls. This must be some kind of incubation chamber. It's a whole army of these things. For some kind of invasion, there's enough here to take a whole planet. Not just a planet, an entire galaxy. These Reavers are the ultimate killing machines. We have spent thousands of your years abducting species from all over this galaxy. Our probes have found worlds your puny federation would never dream existed. We've tested and dissected them all, combining and manipulating their DNA. We have grown the ultimate warrior race. You and your entire galaxy shall fall to the Warsaw. No! We will stop you! Pitiful creatures. To the Warsaw, you are nothing more than an infestation, an annoyance to be crushed like a... Bug. We Betazoids are telepathic. I was able to block the alien's voice. For now. Are you okay? Yes, I... It just took a lot out of me. I'll be fine. Tuvok, this is Monroe. We found the main shaft and just had some sort of contact with the being who seems to be in control of this station. Yes, Ensign. We received the same message. We are still recovering from it. They're creating an army of drones. They're just like the Borg. Correction. The Borg seek only perfection. These Borsoth seek to annihilate all lesser beings and dominate whole galaxies. Even worse than the Borg, then. Sir, we can't just shut down the generator. We've got to destroy the entire station. I concur, Ensign. My teams will start placing explosives. You and your team continue down the shaft to the generator. You have to destroy it before we can set off the debt packs. Voyager can then escape the region before the explosion. Understood. Monroe out. All right, let's blow this whole thing up. Now, can I shoot this thing? <laughs> yup. All right. Everyone okay? Take some of the health. Bra, bra. Yeah, come closer. Come closer. Say what's up. There's some more supplies over here that I can yoink. Okay, so we can switch back to here. There's, we don't need much energy because we're still pretty topped off, but... Alright. Let's head through this door. I see you hiding. You little scoundrel. You little bug. A weird cockroach looking thing. Oh, I should bring out an energy weapon here. Yeah, an energy weapon would be much more useful here. Also, I feel like we haven't used the grenade launcher at all this game, so let's go ahead and try to use one of these bad boys. I feel like we underutilized the grenade launcher. Okay. Hop on, everyone. We're going on a trip. Yo. Telepathy. Come on. You good? Chakotay to the captain. We've placed some charges, but we have injuries here. We're heading for the shuttles. Understood. We still have a few more to set. Okay. Oh, my bad. This grenade launcher is a little hard to use. I guess that's the one annoying thing about it. Ooh. Got some like voice beam at me. Okay. Let's use a different weapon here. Ooh. Ammo. Love ammo. Well health. I'm actually kinda low, so much appreciated. Okay, but what to do? Oh, we came up from there. Get 
the shuttles. Hang tight, Kuban. Okay. You guys coming? There's energy right there. Ooh. Ah, it's okay. You alright? Yep, nope. Behind? Why would you why would you say behind when there's nothing behind us? Invisible force fields on the floor here. Yeah, but it's segmented. There's holes everywhere. There has to be a path or pattern to it. Why don't I use my phase? No, I want my phase. A phaser would be probably the best tool for this. Alright. Good thing Chell wasn't here. He'd have to change his habits. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That guy's scared of pretty much everything, so... Alright. Captain, we placed the last of the dead packs. Good, Ensign. Get to the shuttles and return to Voyager. Hmm. Well, I didn't want to shoot just yet, but you know what? Sure, guys. We'll just fight right now. I wanted to do something cool, but you guys just have trigger fingers, don't you? Alright. What were you doing over here? Mm. Ooh, energy. Hmm, okay. Down we go. Or maybe up we go. We'll never know. Down it is. Oh, what's up? Yep, nope. You guys can go away, like, right now. I didn't even realize I was low on health. We take those. Take that ammo, too. Yep, you guys can go all the way away. Six feet, bro. You ever heard of COVID? Six feet. We're entering new area. I want my social distancing. Just because we're on a different planet. Don't mean we don't got a social distance. They probably have some weird alien diseases. Stay back, dude. Save game, yes. Do it up. Alright. Yo, that man can jump! Holy! Bro, LeBron James! Oh, you guys can stay all... I didn't mean to jump right in the middle of y'all, but that works, I guess. Okay, so the bombs are set. Alright. Cool. Hmm. Energy. We love energy around these parts. Hop on, buddy boys. Alright, so we're kind of out of the pink crystal energy. We'll have to grab some more. Ah! Don't do that. Look, those are weavers. They're like fetuses. We must grow them down here. Right. They must use the materials gathered by the harvesters to build all this equipment. That makes sense. I love how they say that they want to like take over like a whole galaxy, but like we're just kind of going through their ship with <laughs> not too many problems to be honest so it's like are you sure you can take an entire galaxy over you guys don't seem currently that strong so well, I guess that's why it's a good thing we're here to stop them now if they build more than yeah that'd be kind of bad all right give me help step up elevator time the millionth elevator we've gone down today. Ah. I don't know, man. They just got done telling us how they want to take over a galaxy, so probably a lot. Alright. 
darn it. Oh, don't try to hide from me, you disgusting little bug. Don't be doing none of those shenanigans. Don't yell at me. I'll switch over. Oh, we don't have like any ammo for much of anything. Alright. No energy over here to speak of? Nope. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go down a little lower with not a lot of ammo, but um, we'll be fine. I'm sure of it. They'll give us like an ammo room or something. Bop, bop, bop. Alright, give us a little bit of that pink ammo, which is good. We'll switch over to probably the photon. No, no, no. The dead not weapon. This thing's by far like the easiest and most like cost effective pink weapon for sure. Like, as far as like what is the best pink weapon, it's this. Grab some health while we're here. Yeah, because this thing you just point and shoot, and it tends to kill him fairly quickly, too, which is nice. You just point and shoot, point and shoot. I think it's a little laggy, but... It gets done what it needs to get done. Yeah, I don't like those noises. I feel like I'm joining a cult or something. Alright, we keep going. Come on, buddy boys. Switch over to... Oh, we don't have much ammo for either. That kind of sucks. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's keep moving. There's things over there for me to grab. Right, I think... Are we at the lowest part now? When we rode to Tuvok, we found the generator creating the dampening field. Excellent, Mr. Monroe. Destroy the generator and we will activate the deck packs. We will then start the evacuation. Understood. Ensign... It is important that you succeed. All of Voyager is counting on you. Tuvok out. Thanks for the vote of confidence. We're ready, Alex. Alright, we just grab some ammo and we'll get uh we'll get moving here. Oh, I destroyed these things. Okay. That was like my third guess. Here we go, here we go. Alright, we better get out. I'm just saying. Okay. Find the airlock. Uh, show. Okay, so we gotta get back. Gotta get back to some shuttle to hopefully get out of this place considering it's about to be blown up i think it is not a good idea to stay in here so let's get a move on here bud save game yes please just like so oh what's up dude you're just waiting right by the elevator for me dude what a nice greeting such hospitable guests just waiting for us like that i don't know at least like two Oh, bug. Stop it. Hello. Alex, Hello there. Here. Let's move it, Ensign. Insignificant creatures, you cannot stop us. This forge is but the first of millions. We will launch the seed. It will grow into a new forge and create thousands more. You have simply delayed the inevitable. The Vorsal shall conquer your galaxy. Then, countless others. All right. Gerard. She blocked the voice again. You must have overwhelmed her. Alex, listen, we've got to get out of here. The whole place is going to blow. Come on, let's go. Take Gerard. Pick her up. Get her back to Voyager. I'm going what? after the what? big bug. Alex, where are you going? Big bug. You saw the visions. All this is going to start all over again if I don't stop that seed. Wait, let us. No. 
You've got to get your aunt back to Voyager. This is my decision. Let's go. But it's time to squash the big bug. I'm gonna need some big in insecticide though, or pesticide. Okay, make stop the seed from launching. All right, let's go get that seed. Got any maybe supplies for me though? Please, 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 please. Cause I gotta go up here. Hello. Also, I'm not on the right gun. Come on. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. I would have wasted a lot of ammo very quickly with that other gun. How you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just here to take down your mother or father or whatever that big old thing with a gross mouth is. And that's right. Just walk into my laser. Stupid bugs. Oh, what up? You guys are the smart ones, ain't you? Not so smart now, are you? You're getting beat by a welding machine. You got... Okay, that's the weapon energy terminal. Got any supplies up in here, dude? I'm, I'm gonna have to face the final guy with my phaser, dude. I'm gonna zzz, have to give him a shave. Okay. Entering new area. Alright, here we go. Oh, look, the atomic energy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, they gave... Oh, they gave me a bunch of everything. Okay, I got... I can use my favorite... Okay, so I can use any gun. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know which gun to use. I can use any of them. The energy... Oh, man, they need more of those energy terminals lying around the map, bro. I'd have so much fun with those. Ensign Monroe. That's me. Hello. How you doing? How's the weather out there, huh? I'm just chilling on this release. Acknowledge. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore him. Mr. Monroe, you are violating direct orders. Yup. What are you gonna do about it, huh? You gonna come and get me? What are you, my dad? Just ignore him, man. Boing. Save game, yes, please. All right, look at. Look at that energy, 999. You love to see it. Any health around here, though? Ah, there you go. Does it take me up to full? Not full, but close to full. Mmm. Looks like an arena. Here we go. Yo, there's stuff all over the arena, though, which is kind of cool. Maybe we'll try an all weapon strat. We gotta use every weapon against them. You cannot hope to stop the Vorzal. But I can try. Who? What are you? I am the Vorzal. I was created by the ancient ones. I shall carry out their programming. The seed will be launched to create a new forge. We can never be stopped. Wait! Listen to me! In your visions, I saw this machine is thousands of years old. How do you know that your purpose is conquest? Your makers might have only intended to use you for research. They may have been explorers, like ourselves. Nonsense. Our programming is clear. We are engineered for perfection. We are created to conquer. But through the thousands of years, your original programming may have deteriorated. Do you even remember who built you? Where did they come from? What did they look like? The race of beings who first made you might even be extinct. Silence! The sea will be launched. You shall be destroyed. Alright, time to blast you up, I guess. I'm gonna blast you up so good. I'm let's let's go let's do an all weapons challenge. So this is first all weapons challenge. 
We're gonna use a little bit of everything. Alright. Kill this guy. Switch weapons. Alright. Photon burst. Let's kill that guy. We already used this a little bit. Tetron disruptor. Bra, bra. Bra, bra. Alright. Next weapon. Grenade launcher. This is probably definitely one of the harder ones to use. Take that grenade, buddy boy. Ah! Well, I actually hurt myself right then. Okay. Let's grab some health. Alright, next weapon. Stasis. I think this is the one that we definitely used the least since we got it. I think it's a real good gun, but we didn't use it quite all that often. Which is kind of a shame. Alright, next gun. Scavenging rifle. Bra bra. Alright, use a couple of volleys. This looks like the fireball cast in Chrono Cross. Okay. Next weapon, the iMod Infinity. Infinity modulate or something. Ba ba ba. I like this one too. This one's a pretty fun one. Alright, next gun. Compression rifle. Probably my favorite gun, just because it's probably the most classic. Alright, last gun, phaser. Let's beat this guy with a phaser. Yeah, that's right. You, you're being phased up. Right, let's go grab some health. And then now that we've used all the weapons, we could probably go back to just using our favorite ones. Have a little bit more health. Why are you guys following me, you weirdos? Get phased up. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Thank you! I thought you were here to attack me! Thank you, weird manta ray things. Appreciate you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna beat you up so good. Just wait, I'm gonna beat you up. Dude, what a bunch of absolute units. Thank you. No, we must kill. <laughs> What's up, dude? Maybe if he would have came out and fought me during that, maybe this wouldn't have happened. But you may have stopped the seed. But now I will show you just how insignificant you are. Dude, villains always hide be hiding behind shields until their stuff gets wrecked. Why didn't you come out earlier, huh? If you would have maybe came out earlier, maybe this wouldn't have happened to you. Alright. Get out of there, you weird spaghetti bug. I'm gonna beat you right up. Your stupid face. You don't need that many eyeballs. Stupid finger things. Oh, what's up? What's up? I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna blast you so good. That's right. I'm gonna do it with my. You know what? Hold on. You know what? You know what I wanna beat him with? I wanna beat him with this. Right, what's up? No. What are you, Palpatine? Embrace your destiny. Oh, my dead? <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. I think we're gonna go ahead and use this gun. That's probably the easiest to just aim. Whoops. Let's go ahead and dodge those, huh? Nope. I think I'm gonna destroy you right now. Bro, how long do I need to zap him with the welder for? Come on, man. But do we have to do that, though? That doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna phase you up. What's up? What's up? 
Oh, oops. Compression rifle. Ah! I'm out. Uh, oh, I need health, like, now. Health back here. Ooh, and I got hit again. Alright, I need to maybe stop clowning around right now. Ow. I touch on Disruptor. This is the thing I want to use. I love this gun. You're not going to hit me with those. What's up? What's up? Finally got out of your chair, big man. A little worm slug. Ouch. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, I need health. Thank you. Ow. I don't think I have too many more health packs, so... Hopefully I can just get it done with what I got now. Ah, there you go. There you go. You've had enough, haven't you? You weird spaghetti noodle bug. You're done. Fool. <laughs> is he gonna talk? Fool, this is just a minor setback for the Vorsoth. We shall return. Okay, but are you though? Okay, I don't I think I think that um that cutscene was glitched right there, so Oh well. I'll add it in if I need to. Engines are at full power, Captain. Keep pressing it, Mr. Paris. The forge has been destroyed. We made it! What about the other ships? Some of them made it out. Captain, I'm getting a message from the Ethereans. They thank us for our help and are back on their way to their new home. Captain, I've got some readings on our position. We're still in the Delta Quadrant, but we're over 200 light years closer to the Alpha Quadrant. So, we gained a few months. Not bad. Get us back on course for home, Mr. Paris. Looks like your plan worked, Ensign. Yes. Congratulations, Monroe. Good work. Your performance was quite satisfactory. You appear to be injured. You should report to sickbay. Yes, sir. All right. We did it. Very cool. We stopped the Vorsoth. Those big old bugs. Why is it always bugs that want to rule the earth? Alex? Yes, that's me. Talsia. Hi. Penny for your thoughts? Hi. What's a penny? I don't know. Some old phrase I heard Paris say once. It was a nice service. For Beastman and the others. Yeah, for a funeral. You couldn't have helped them, you know. You did the best you could. They knew the risks. They were professionals. I know, but when you disappeared on the Ethereum ship, I told myself the same thing. It didn't make me feel any better then, either. You can't bring them back. Don't live in the past. Look toward the future. You have a bright future. Do I? Sure. Trust me. Is this a private party, or can anyone join? How are you doing, Monroe? As good as can be expected, I guess. Lieutenant Monroe? Those pips suit you well, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. You had us worried there at the end. Mr. Monroe disobeyed orders and did not board the escape shuttle. I'm sorry, sir. There was something I had to do. We know, Lieutenant. We all saw the alien visions. You did what you had to do. It was commendable. You were willing to sacrifice yourself for the whole. As did the entire team. You all performed bravely. The Hazard team has proven to be more valuable than we imagined. Starfleet just might adopt your idea when we get back, Tuvok. Thank you, Captain. But I think Mr. Monroe is the one most responsible for the success of the team. It took some time, and not inconsiderable effort. But you have proven yourself to be an outstanding officer and a natural leader, as I always believed you would. Th thank you, sir. 
I was afraid you would think my decision was too... impulsive. Sometimes, Lieutenant, your gut instinct is better than what logic and procedure would suggest. Both are needed in a good leader. That is why I chose you to begin with. Yes, sir. I understand. Why, Tuvok? Is that a bit of pride I detect? Surely, Captain. There is no cause to insult me. Aha, cue laugh track. All right. Very cool. Oh, man. All right. Cool. Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. So that took about seven hours, seven, eight hours, maybe a little less. Um, so I guess it's time for the little review that I always give after the games. This was actually a whole lot of fun. I'm not even playing a, a lot of these, you know, the, I, I hate calling it an obscure game, but like a Star Trek game from the PS2, it's fairly obscure, but it's a lot of fun. The The combat is a lot more fun than you'd think. The weapons are really, really cool. I like, you know, the progression, how they give you them. A lot of the maps were pretty cool. I think the story is, you know, it's a PS2 story. You can't be so in-depth because you've only got, you know, seven, eight hours to play it. Um, but I think the story was good for what it gave us. Um, this man right here, Tuvok, annoyed the absolute poop out of me. But then again, I guess he's a Vulcan, right? Those Are they supposed to be that way? Who knows? I'm just going to assume that that's how they are. Um, the story was great. I, I liked the story for what it was. The weapons are fun. The combat was fun. I guess the only complaint I'd have, and it's not even a complaint about the game, it's a complaint about my emulator, is that the game didn't run as smoothly as I would have liked. It lagged when there was a lot of creatures on the uh, screen. But again, I think that's more of a my emulator thing, not the game itself. So really, I'm giving this game like a high score here. I think if you guys have some time to just quickly emulate the PS2, use PSX2, just download a ROM off like a couple of safe websites. Um, I think it's a really fun one to play. Again, it only took me six, seven hours. I'd say this, if you're a Star Trek fan, then you definitely need to play it. If you're not a Star Trek fan, then I highly recommend it. Like I said, I'm I'm personally not a Star Trek fan either. I'm a Star Wars guy. Um, here, I can either prove that to you guys. Oh, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Just a little, it's that battery. There we go. So, whoops. Definitely a Star Wars guy here. My Sentinel saber here. Enough flexing. Definitely a Star Wars guy. But for what it is, I quite enjoyed this. Um, I felt like I, I don't think I learned too too much about the Star Trek universe. Um, but you know, I learned about a couple of races, kind of how they do things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I liked it. Um, no complaints about this game for sure. I think if you have a PS2, you could probably f even find like a real cheap copy. Let's see. Star Trek Voyager Elite Force PS2 game. Let's see how much it is. Bro, you can buy one for like 10 bucks. Yeah, the, the, eBay 12, 17... Uh, $13.99 at Walmart. Why in the world would you buy that? There's a lot of cheap copies for like 10 20 bucks. So if you have a PS2 laying around that works, get this game. It's a lot of fun. It'll probably even run better than me. Imagine, this game ran poorly and I still had fun. Imagine if this game ran great. I'm I sure you, you'll have even more fun with it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a classic game. And uh, what's really, really cool about this game, it also has like a multiplayer. Not... I don't know if it has multiplayer with other people, but there's like LAN compatibility where you can like play with friends. And I remember that me and my older brother would play the crap out of this. Um, because again, the guns are so fun. The maps are fairly cool. Um, so play the story. And if you have a PS2 with two controllers and you have a sibling or a friend, you could even hit it up and play it that way. It's, it's pretty cool. Um... It's, I'm running out of things to say about this game. I mean, it's a fairly simplistic game, right? Um, it almost like inspires me to try to play other Star Trek games, but I don't know what other Star Trek games even exist. I feel like, first things first, if you're going to do the whole Star Trek thing, you might want to just watch the shows. 
<laughs> Let's see, where the Star Trek games exist? Hmm. Okay, Star Trek Bridge Crew, Star Trek Timeline, Star Trek Online, Star Trek Conquest. Oh, there's a there's a lot of Star Trek games. Interesting. Ooh, 10 best Star Trek games rated. Let's see where this one falls. So number 10, Star Trek Klingon Academy, Star Trek Invasion, Star Trek Bridge Crew, Star Trek Elite Force 2? There's an Elite Force 2? Oh, we might have to hit that up. Star Trek Starfleet Command 3 is number 6. Number 5, Star Trek Orion Pirates. Number 4, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, The Fallen. 3, Star Trek Fleet Command. Number 2, Star Trek Ridge Commander. And number 1, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Even on this list, look at that. Star Trek Elite Force is the number one Star Trek game. Look at that. So we definitely started on a good one. Let's let's do let's go on Google. Let's type in top ten. Oh, here. I'm being mean, aren't I? Uh I don't wanna block the I don't wanna block the credits here, but Okay, well just to prove it to you. Look. Or, oh, you guys can't even see it. Okay, how about display capture? There we go. Display capture. So you can see Star Trek Klingon Academy Invasion. If we scroll to the bottom, you can see number one, Star Trek Elite Voyager, at least on this list. Um, so it's top 10 Star Trek games. Let's do The Gamer. What do they think? Invasion, Bridge Crew, Elite Force 2, Command 3, Deep Space, Fleet Command. What is number one? Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Elite Force 86. This looks a little different. No. Okay, no, I think it's the same game. So once again, they also think that that one is the best one. Okay. Apparently these guys just automatically think... What? This list is very disorganized. I don't appreciate that. Let's keep looking. What do these guys think? Okay, well, that doesn't help. Why would you do this? Okay, well, they clearly like the game too, but... Alright, ranked. Alright, give me a rank. Let's see. What's going on? Ha! <laughs> Number one, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Bro, everybody loves this game. And I can see why. Star Trek Borg. Oh, this must be really cool. I want to play this. What is this? Is this a game or is this PC gameplay? Where's the game? This is like just a big old cutscene. Okay. Alright, like one more list. One more list. Hmm. Number one, Star Trek Elite. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess my point has been made that people unanimous, unanimously agree that this is probably the best Star Trek game. And I actually didn't even know that. This was a new revelation to me that this is so highly coveted as the best Star Trek game. So I'm glad that I guess this was the first one I played. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to play any of the rest. But Star Trek Elite Force 2 might be on my radar because I didn't know that there was a sequel to this. Um, we can take a look at the Voyager crew. Senior staff, Alpha Squad. Base. So who's the senior staff? Captain Kath, Commander to Lieutenant Okay, so this is Senior Captain Staff. Captain 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 Lieutenant Ensign to Ensign, Emergency Next 7, Doctor, not Felix. 709. Okay, so that's Senior Staff. Who's Alpha Squad? Okay, Beta Squad. Okay, Hazard Suit. Oh, that's just the Hazard Suit. Okay. Alright, guys. Game is done. We're going to go ahead and end off this game. Thanks for watching. Go play it if you can. It's a great game.